welcome to this session. In this session, we discuss about uh, linear recurrence relations. So we'll define what we mean by a linear recurrence relation, and then give some examples to illustrate how to identify a linear recurrence relation and those which are not uh, linear recurrence relations. So I hope the lesson will be enjoyable. Let's go to the class directly. So let's start by defining what you mean by a linear recurrence relation. So definition. A linear So a linear recurrence relation of degree k with constant coefficients is a recurrent relation of the form a n equals to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 plus c3 a n minus 3 up to plus c k a n minus k, where c1, c2 up to c k are real numbers. And then the condition is that this coefficient c k must never be 0. So this is the definition for linear homogeneous recurrence relation of degree K. So this will determines the degree of the recurrence relation. So, uh, and we say this recurrence relation is linear, or it's called linear. because the previous terms appear in exponent not squared base power three etc and we call homogeneous because no term
so homogeneous because no other term other other than the multiples of a i's and then degree k since expressed in terms of previous k terms then constant coefficients So we have, we we'll call it, this is a constant with constant coefficients because coefficients in front of the terms AI, AIs are constants instead of general functions. Now the recurring relation, let's call this one star. Let's call this linear homogeneous recurring relation, let's call it star. And then we say star together with k initial conditions uniquely determines the sequence. So if you are given k initial conditions with this equation star, then you'll get a unique sequence for that given recurrent relation. Now let's give some examples and non-examples. So examples and non-examples. So one, if we have a recurrent relation of the form P n equals to 1.1, 1, .1 P n minus one, then it's linear, homogeneous, recurrent relation, of degree one, this is the K value. Number two, if we have Fn equals to Fn minus one plus Fn minus two, this is a Fibonacci sequence, is linear, homogeneous, recurrent relation of degree two. So the K value here is two. And then number three, if you have a n equals to a n minus five, is a linear homogeneous recurrent relation 
of degree five. So we have a K value. Number four, if you have a n equals to a n minus one plus a n minus two squared, this is not linear. Not linear because you see this a n minus two is squared. So you don't expect the power to be two. So this one is not linear. Number five, if you have capital HN equals to two HN minus one plus one, it's not homogeneous because of this term one. Number six, if I have the recurring relation BN equals to N B n minus one does not have constant coefficients because of this N. So what makes it not have constant coefficients because we have this N which varies depending on the value of N chosen. Some more examples. If I have a n equals to five a n minus one minus four a n minus two plus n squared is second order or degree k, uh, degree two, because of this is the value of k, second order recurrent relation. with the constant coefficients but it is not homogeneous or so it is non homogeneous because of this n squared since it has n squared. Now we can generate some terms of this sequence. So assuming if initial conditions are a1 is one and a2 is two, then a3, when the, where this n put three, so we'll have A3 will be five, A3 minus one minus four, A3 minus two plus three squared, which will be five, A2 minus four times A1 plus three squared is nine. And then you replace these values of A1 and A2. So this will be five, times two minus four times one plus nine. This will be 10 minus four, which is six plus nine, that will be 15. So once you are given the initial conditions, you can always find other terms of the recurrent relation of the sequence. And then when N equals to four, so this was N equals to three. So A4 will be given by five, a4 minus one minus four, A4 minus two plus four squared, which will be five, A3 minus four, A2, four squared is 16. So it means that when you get any of the previous terms wrongly, then it will also make other terms to be erroneous because you see now to define A4, you need the value of A3. So we'll have five into 15 
minus four into a two is two plus 16. So five times 15 minus four times two plus 16 will give us 83. So therefore, A4 term is 83. And you can as well, in a similar way, define A5, A6, A7, etc. Uh, number eight, example, is it eight? Yes, eight. If you have this recurrent relation, AN equals to two, AN minus one times AN minus two, plus n squared, then you say the product a n minus one, a n minus two means the recurrent relation is not linear. Or simply nonlinear. It's not linear. So given, assuming that we have the initial conditions, A1 to be one and A2 to be two, then we can define A3 and A4 as, so A3, when n is three, you'll have two into three minus one, three minus two plus three squared, which will be two, a two, a one plus nine, should be two times two times one plus nine. Two by two by one is four, four plus nine is 13. So therefore a three will be 13. And then a4 means n equals to four. So it'll be two into four minus one, four minus two plus four squared, which will be two, a3, a2 plus 16, should be two into a3 is 13, a2 is two plus 16, and two by 13 by two, plus 16 gives us a 68. So that would be the A4 term. And you can generate A5, A6, ETC. Second last example, nine. If you have the sequence or the recurring relation AN equals to N, AN minus one plus three AN minus two, then this is homogeneous. linear because there's no AI that is raised more than one. Second order or degree two relation, recurrent relation. But it does not have constant coefficients. Because the coefficient of a n minus one is n which is not a constant. So it means that different values of n will give different values of the coefficient of a n minus one term. So uh, given that the initial conditions are a1 is one and a2 is two, we can generate A3, A4, ETC by saying 
a3 will be 3 a3 minus 1 plus 3 a3 minus 2 will be 3 a2 plus 3 a1 which will be 3 times 2 plus 3 times 1 this is 6 plus 3 we get 9 and then a4 will be 4 a 4 minus 1 plus 3 a 4 minus 2 which is 4 a 3 plus 3 a 2 which will be 4 into 9 plus 3 into 2 that 6 plus 6 is 42. So this means that in if you make any mistake in a previous term on a recurrent relation, then the preceding terms will be erroneous because they depend on what precedes those terms. So you have to be very careful. And lastly, number four, number 10, which is the last example, AN equals to two AN minus one plus five an minus two minus six an minus three this is homogeneous linear third order or degree three recurrent relation with constant coefficients. So uh, assuming that initial conditions for this given the current relations, a relation is given by A1, 1, A2, 2, and A3, 1. Then A4 will be 2, 4 minus 1, 5, 4 minus 2. And then we have 4 minus 1, 4 minus 3, which will be 2, A3 plus 5, A2 minus 6, A1. You substitute A3, you put 1. A2 you put two, A1 you put one. So this will give us two plus 10 minus six, which will give us six. And if you work out A5, you should get the answer to be 37, a negative 37. And if you work out A6, you should get 54. So that is how uh, we identify linear homogeneous recurrence relations, nonlinear recurrence relations, and non homogeneous recurrence relations. Thank you.